Hello friends, today we are going to discuss static structural analysis of a truss member. It is a 2D truss member, it is consisting of uh, 4 elements. Uh, left side of the truss member is fixed, right bottom corner is having roller support and top right corner we are having 2 loads. A vertical load of 4000 Newton is provided at the top right corner and a horizontal load of 5000 Newton is applied. And the cross section area of the truss member is 250 mm square. Our task is to find out displacement of each node and elemental stresses. We will analyze this one using ANSYS mechanical epidural. Then let's get started. We have opened already ANSYS mechanical epidural. First of all, we have already opened a desktop folder. All works will be saved there in that desktop folder. So we are starting from file change directory going back to the folder what we have created before by the name of sm all works will be saved there next part we have to change the title change title let's get the name of the title as 2d trust 2d trust member to view the title in the desktop plot replot it will show the title in the lower left corner so we are starting with pre-processing it will be starting from preferences as it is a static structural analysis so it will be starting from structural one click structural one okay next part is pre-processor element type add edit delete as nothing is defined so we have to add the element here we can take the element as link and by default it is taking 3d finite strength and element reference number is one that is very important we have to remember this one because this will be required while uh, plotting the elemental table close it now one very important thing is be in the before version we could provide the area of the link members by real constants but in this latest version it cannot be provided from the real constants the areas to be provided from the sections only so next our task is to provide material properties material properties material models structural linear elastic isotropic we are taking material ASTM A36 that is still having modulus of elasticity 2E5 that is 2 multiplied 10 to the power 5 Newton per millimeter square and Poisson's ratio as 0 0.26 material properties provided next part we have to provide area from the sections now we can see in section link option has come we have to add the link add link section id is id number is one okay now we have to name the section we can provide any name let's give the name of the section as square section and area 250 millimeter square okay done cross section area of the link member is provided next part we have to model modeling create it can be created with nodes also by the same way it can be done using key points also we will be starting using nodes in active coordinate system as you know already the first one is node numbers that one we need not provide it will be done automatically we have to provide the lower corner that is as it is a two dimensional problem we have to provide x and y coordinates z is not required now we are starting the first node at 0, 0 origin. So, this x and y value should be 0. Applied. Second node should be created at a distance of 400 mm in the x direction. So, x values will be 400. And y value is not required as it is in the ground level it will be. Applied. Then third node will be created little bit off. 300 millimeter half. It coordinates will be x equal to 400, y equal to 300. Apply. Third node is also created. Now fourth or final node that should be created at the top left corner. The location will be 0, 300. X equal to 0, y equal to 300. Okay. Four nodes have been created. Now four nodes have to be uh, have to be connected in the form of elements. 
will come from elements auto numbered through nodes now we will connect node number 1 and node number 2 apply so first element is formed then again node number 2 and node number 3 to be joined applied element number 2 is created now again node number 1 and node number 3 to be joined element number 3 is done and the last element to be provided by joining node number 3 and node number 4 okay so all the four nodes have been created we can see again first node is in between first element is in between node number 1 and node number 2 second element in between node number 2 and node number 3 third element in between node number 1 and node number 3 and the last or fourth element in between node number 3 and node number 4 then we are to next part we have to apply boundary conditions meshing is not required as already numbers of nodes have been created solution analysis type new analysis it is a static structural analysis okay next we have to apply load define loads apply structural displacement on nodes now we can see in the drawing the left two nodes that means first node and fourth nodes are fixed so select not node number one and node number four okay or apply and all degrees of freedom and displacement value is zero that means node number one and node number four is restricted to move its displacement should be zero if you don't provide any values it will be considering by default zero values so okay node number one and node number four is fixed next part we have to apply boundary condition or node number two so it will be having support from the down it will be having roller support so node select node number two okay now all degrees of freedom is not required we have to provide roller support so ux see this blue color is very important blue color means it is selected all degrees of freedom should be free ui that means it is supporting from y direction okay you can see from the down one roller support is there that is it is supposed to move in the x direction only in y direction its movement is completely restricted next part is you have to apply force or moment force on nodes let's see the drawing again in the drawing is showing that at node number 3 we have to apply a vertical load of 4000 4, newton and horizontal load of 5000 newton vertical 4000 and horizontal 5000 newton so apply node on node number 4 apply f x means x direction f y means y direction vertical node of vertical load of 5000 newton as it is in the direction downward direction it will be minus 5000 so in the y direction load of 5000 newton applied the red arrows is providing showing the direction in the downward direction another force to be applied on the node number three again select the node number three okay then it will be x direction so fx and the force will be 4000 newton it will be away from the origin so it will be positive Four thousand newton no load is applied on the node number three. Done. So all the boundary conditions have already been applied. Next, we have to run the solution. Post processing is required after running. Now we have to running we have to run the solution by solving. Solve. Current tell is okay. If everything is right, it will show solution is done solution is done it's showing so perfect everything's right you can go for post processing right now that means you have to see the results it will come from general post processing plot results deform shift 
deform plus undeformed. It will show original drawing plus change drawing by the application of force. You can see two lines are there white lines and blue lines. White line is the original drawing, and blue line is the deformed drawing or deformed shape of the object or of the 2D truss member. You can see blue line is the deformed drawing or deformed shape of the object, and white line is the original one. This is the 2D format to view this one in 3D format. We have to change a little bit plot controls, style, size, and shape. Display of elements should be on okay now this one is 3d to view this one in a better way you have to click isometric view this is the one this is form deform shape that means by the application of different forces on the node number four how the truss member have been deformed it is showing with the original drawing and the deformed drawing it is one of the answers so we have to save it red controls capture image File savers. We can save this one in the folder what we have created before in the desktop. Okay. Next part is we have to control plot. We see the results of displacements. Control plot, node of solution, D wave solution, degrees of freedom solution. We can see displacement in x direction also, y direction also because. It is a two-dimensional problem. We can view the displacement in X and Y also. Displacement X displacement. Displacement in X direction, X component of displacement. Okay. These are the displacement in these are the displacements. So red color is showing maximum displacement and blue color is minimum displacements. This is the answer. So we have to save it. Cut control, capture image, file save as. We can save this. Again, nodal solution, y component of displacement, that means displacement in the y direction that we see, in the downward direction. So again, displacement of the bottom part, that means element number 1 is a maximum displacement, which is red color. This is also, so we have to save it, plot controls, capture image. File servers. Okay, right. Now we have to see the stresses. Elemental stresses to be seen. To see the elemental stresses, we have to form an elemental table. How to form that one? We have to form elemental table. Element table. Define table. We have to add the table. Nothing is defined, so we have to add it. We have to give the name as stress. And here, very important part is you have to move it down, drag this one down, and see the lower one by sequence number. And right side, LS as we stress, and elemental reference number was one. So after LS, you have to provide the number one. Okay, close. Now we can view the results. Plot elemental table, it will show stress. These are the stresses at different elements. We can view this one in listing format, that will be better one. List elemental table. Okay. So this is showing list displacements, not displacement stresses of element number one is zero, element number two is negative stress, element three is also positive stress and element 4 is having positive so maximum stress is developed on element number 4 you can see the stress element number 2 is having stress minus 21.056 newton per millimeter square element number 3 is having stress 1.75 1.75 newton per millimeter square and element number 4 is having stress 14.593 newton per millimeter square so minimum stress is equal to minus 21.05 newton per millimeter square that is suffered on node element number 2 and maximum stress is 14.593 newton per millimeter square on element number 4 these are the results though so that to be saved file save as that to be saved
we could see another thing that we have seen displacement of nodes in the graphical formation we can see the listing of that one also so you can view list results node oscillation d oscillation x component of displacement that means displacement in x direction you can see it is first node is having x direction node displacement of ux equal to 0 first node is fixed so zero displacement second node was also zero displacement third node 0 0.29 10 to the minus 1 millimeter and fourth node zero displacement we can see here maximum displacement equal to 2.29 10 to the minus 0 0 1 next part we'll see displacement in y direction node oscillation y component of displacement okay in y direction it is showing first node as it was fixed so displacement is zero second node is also displacement zero third node is having negative displacement minus 0 0.315 10 to the power minus one and maximum absolute value of displacement equal to minus 0 0.31 10 to the power minus one millimeter you can see another thing that will be reaction solution all items you can see you can see fx fy so let's see this reaction solution so at node number one minus 351 105 newton node number four also minus 33648.1 newton total reaction equal to minus 4000 newton in the x direction and y direction equal to 5000 newton this is the reaction support reaction and the supports thank you so much for watching this video